you have to fight for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Because no one is going to fight for you. Some will fight with you. But there's only so much energy that they can give to you because they're busy fighting for themselves. Hello and welcome to Manifest Mindset by Affirm, Affirm, Attract. Your place to come to when you need tips and advice when manifesting. We are an affirmation channel and you can find all our affirmation videos on YouTube. Hello, hello and welcome back to Manifest Mindset 2023. This is my first recording in the new year. Happy new year everybody. I hope this year is going to be a wonderful, no, I know this year is going to be a wonderful and a magnificent year for everybody. You only have to say it and it will be true. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about standing firm in your story. So many times we have a story of what we want our life to be like. And so many times we seem to jump from book to book, either in someone else's story or a story that is totally the opposite of what we want. And I'm going to be speaking about how we are going to combat that. It's not hard, but it will take focus and some discipline. Life goes a little bit like this. You decided what you want from it. And in comes the curveball of reality. It can come in a shape of all of a sudden just losing confidence in yourself. It could be a tragic event. It could be watching too much news with so much sadness and grief. It could be losing a job. It could be losing a friend, as in not dying, but losing a friend because you've had an argument. It could be anything. And then as soon as that happens we go into a default mode, which I talked about in one of my podcasts. I think it was the last one or the one before that. And the default we go into is, why does my life suck? Why does nothing good ever happen to me? Why is it that every time I'm trying, things just always seem to go wrong? I give up. I can't take it anymore. I can't do this anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't think anything's going to change. I think I should just accept the fact that this and that is not going to happen. And so many of us say that so often. And we're used to saying it because it's a straight automatic. We can't even stop ourselves. We just, like a train that's lost its brakes, we're just going straight into that brick wall. The good news is, anytime you stop and you reaffirm, you can always change your life back. So that's the great news. Like, once you go down that train wreck of despair, it doesn't mean you're stuck there. You can always reverse it and change it up. So it's absolutely fine. But what we have to get into the habit is to change our default button into saying positive things. Like, oh, okay, that's happened. Mm-hmm. But I know life is always going to be working out for me. You don't even have to have a long affirmation. You don't even have to have a long visualization scene process. You can just say, but I know things are still working out for me. And sometimes that's all you need. It will take practice and it will take a while for you to get used to the the reset button because every time you press the reset button another button clicks it in place it's like do you remember back in the day those of you who are old enough and we had a dial-up connection and do you remember that if you had two um companies that were going to do your dial-up um say for example you had microsoft yes something else it will kick one off 
And so your computer will just go into this battle and it will kick the other one off and then your system will be running off that and it will kick the other one off if you wanted to go on the internet. But nowadays I can open up my Firefox, I can open up my Google and I can open up my Microsoft and have different pages open at the same time and it doesn't do that. Well, think of it like that. When you are trying to set your programming in a certain way and the old programming is just like oh no i'm still here and it will try and kick it off for you to continue going down that train wrap train wrap train wreck path and it's for you to then kick that back off so you can go down the path that you want now depending on who you are how you are how you think it's going to waver a bit it's going to keep wavering back and forth back and forth until you start set in the path that you want. And this is a time where you do not panic. You do not put yourself down. You do not get into your head. You just have to keep focusing on resetting that path. And one of the quick fire ways to do that is by affirming. So as soon as that happens, it's like, oh no, 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 this is how I want my life to be. I want my life to be the way I want it to be. Find an affirmation that will get you back on track. Life is always working out for me. Things always work out for me. Everything has no choice but to work in my favour. Even if you find yourself, your brain's going to go back and waver, just reaffirm. It's not always going to be possible to stop. I've had habits where I know what I'm saying I shouldn't say, but it's almost like I have to say, it's almost like I'm programmed and tuned to say, and I cannot get off that track. So what I do, instead of beating myself up and getting more angry and frustrated, which then leads into more negative thinking, self-talk, I will just say what I need to say. And then afterwards, if I remember, because sometimes you don't remember because you're still on that angry frustration mode. And at the end of it, do you know what? But life is still working out for me. My life is amazing. I have an amazing life. I always get what I want. It's not always going to, it's not going to work straight away for everybody. It's going to take a little while. It might take a few days, a week, a month. If you focus on wanting to be the best manifested that you can be, to have that, that deliberate life that you want for yourself, you do have to have patience with yourself to start with. Because one of the things that we end up doing, we fight with ourselves and we get angry and we get frustrated with ourselves and we just end up having this big old battle of positive and negative talk. But if you say, do you know what? I accept the fact that I'm going to have negative talk. I'm going to accept the fact that I'm going to start affirming things that I don't want to exist in. However, I also accept the fact that I can combat that by repetition and being persistent and reminding myself that I can speak life into myself and I can speak positivity into myself and I can affirm for the life that I want. Now, when I talk about accepting those things, like accepting that there's going to be a battle, accepting that you're going to go back and forth. I'm not saying it that you have to accept it, as, accept it as part of your life from now on. What I'm saying to you is that sometimes when you face up to what you have to do to get things done, it makes it easier for you. Therefore, you know that there is going to be, it's not going to just be say it once and it's just done we have to face a kind of reality that you do have to put in work whether the work is affirming more whether the work is being more focused be more diligent in what you want to do I'm not saying to you accept it as in well I'm just going to accept the fact that I'm going to battle and leave it no what I'm saying this to you is so that if you accept it then it's easier for you to fight it because sometimes if you don't accept stuff it's almost like you're working delusionally and then you're forever fighting the same battle when you don't have to because in your brain you're trying to tell yourself it should be easy I should just get it like this and it should just happen and in reality it doesn't 
happen like that for anyone it doesn't there's always going to be a few tries before you get to where you go some people have less tries than others so if you accept the fact that yes there's going to be days when you're going to you're going to react basically you're going to flip out and you're going to react and that's okay because what you're doing now if you're someone who does react you're going to train yourself to react less react less not stop reacting just react less to react less until your default button is when something happens to you or a, a reality throws a curveball you know to say oh that doesn't matter because I know that life is still working out for me and I'm still going to get that job I'm still going to get that raise or I'm still going to move that house move move house I'm still going to get that car so at the beginning of this podcast I talked about standing firm in your story and then I gave you a segment of what happens when we react in reality so this leads me on to tell you that when you have your normal days and you're fine is to remember to reaffirm what you want I find that this can help if you slowly start to doubt you're not seeing any movement you are starting to lose focus you're starting to waver because every time you keep affirming, it just, it keeps your effort, it keeps what you want alive. It reminds you that you still want it. Because we do have so many distractions throughout life. The kids are playing up, your partner's playing up, you're playing up. Things just happen and then we end up losing focus. And I think what happens, we get so distracted with life, then the doubts start creeping in. And then what we want to manifest hasn't come then we just like we just forget about it or we start doubting that it's even gonna happen so when you have nice quiet moments you know you're just watching a film and you might suddenly remember that oh you know you're looking to buy that house or you're looking to get that pay rise oh I'm so happy and grateful that I've got that pay rise I'm so happy and grateful I'm now living in my house oh it's perfect that my house is so perfect I love the new colors that I've put into the house to decorate I love my new kitchen that car that I'm driving it's a dream it feels so good sitting in the driving seat and having my dream car now I know some of you might be thinking but yeah but sometimes people say that you should just say it and let it go and if you keep saying it's because you're desperate and it's coming from a place of lack and it's no it's only comes from a place of lack if it feels as though you're saying it because you don't believe it's really gonna come it's not coming from a place of lack unless that is what you're putting out there and let me also remind you that as you find and search different ways and techniques for manifesting, you'll find something that will resonate with you. If you really truly believe that if you keep affirming, you're not going to get it, then that will be your reality and you will not get it. Now, the point of reaffirming is because I'm trying to make you stand firm in the reality that you want for yourself. And the way you do that is is to have it in your mind's eye, to have it in your thought, to say it out of your mouth as consistently and as much as you can so that it you're just changing your scene. I'm going to give you an example. When I was affirming, I would affirm stuff and I won't feel nothing about it. I won't feel happy. I won't feel miserable. I just was numb to it. But I would just kept, I just kept saying it and saying it and saying it. I remember I did it for 10 minutes straight. I set the timer on the internet and I set it for 10 minutes straight. And within maybe less than a minute, I started to feel a change. My being felt a little bit lighter. I felt that it was more believable. It was more achievable. And the more I said it, I felt happier and it felt like I was speaking truth into what I was saying. And I was coming from a place of numbness where kind of like you just don't care whether it work or not that type of thing you know when sometimes you know manifestation is real you know it works but sometimes you just find yourself in a place where you just you don't even have the energy to care but when I kept repeating the affirmation I can't remember which affirmation it was it really it changed me in less than a minute 
in less than a minute and throughout the day and the days I just keep saying it so every time I say it it sounds very believable so when I'm talking about stand firm in your affirmation stand firm in the story that you have for yourself and I talk about fighting and standing up for yourself this is what I'm talking about because we always do on a negative basis why do I suck why do I have no friends why is it things never work we say it on repeat over and over again even if it's for five seconds ten seconds sometimes we do a whole rampage on about how much our life sucks and then we tell our friends and our family and we keep repeating the same story and then when nothing comes through we sit there and blame manifestation and say that it doesn't work but really and truly you did not stand up and fight for yourself Thank you for listening to this podcast. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found something there that you can use and that you can hopefully pass it on to people who are also manifesting and struggling. Anyway, guys, before I end this podcast, I've got an announcement to make. A few podcasts ago, I mentioned that I have some news to tell you all and it wasn't quite ready yet, but now it is. And this is what it is. I have finally done it I've put out some meditation music music for you to sleep to to calm to to relax to to even say your affirmations to if you want to that was just a little snippet that is called call for change and I have a second one called mountain cleanse which you can find on Spotify but I would put a link down in this um this segment of my podcast and you can find it there I am so happy when I released it and it, then it went out onto Spotify and all the rest of it I was so happy I was you don't know how happy I was I've been wanting to do this for so long and I've just been doing my homework and my research and how to create the music and everything and it's just out there now and I love it one of the reasons why I want to do my own music as well, it's just so much easier to, when I'm doing affirmations on my channel, I just create my own music and there's no problem, there's no headache, there's no copyright, there's no people saying that you can have their music one next and next thing you know, they've stopped people using their music, you know, any problems in the future. So I hope you enjoyed that little snippet and you can listen to it on Spotify and all the streaming platforms and everything else anyway guys i just like to say thank you so much for tuning in to my podcast i appreciate you i really really do appreciate you if you want some affirmations don't forget to head over to youtube on affirm a form attract i've got the link down below or if you want to go to Bandcamp, i've got some affirmations there that you can purchase and you can take with you blessings to you all thank you very much for listening <laughs>